this love and light, high vibrational mind state. It can stop people from acknowledging their darkness inside and doing some self-exploration in there, in that darkness. Some people on their spiritual awakenings are actually accessing their dark natures, which I think is good. Um, there is true wisdom in there and huge opportunity for growth and development, which is kind of what you want to achieve when you're having a spiritual awakening. When you're not scared of the dark parts of yourself, it's easier for you to accept hard truths, such as the nature of our reality and the truth of how and why we are here. They are doubling down now with their infiltrations. They want to keep us in an illusion as long as possible because they know, well, they knew that right now we have an unprecedented amount of humans that are being born from magic bloodlines. I speak about magic bloodlines in another video. These are the modern day heroes of this world. If they can wake up, avoid infiltration and tap into their abilities. Because the fourth dimensional entities can see above time, they anticipated the arrival of these magical bloodlines, hence all the social programming they've implemented for centuries and being involved in the institutions that govern us to try and keep us down. It won't work. They can't defeat us. We have the power. They are threatened by us. I don't believe their narrative that positive Nordic looking aliens are going to come and bring amazing technology and Earth will be saved. It doesn't work that way. That's enablement and disempowers us. Only we can turn this around. Once we realize our true potential, they won't be able to control us anymore. A way to avoid them infiltrating you is to live like an unplanned life. Be as spontaneous and unpredictable as much as you possibly can so they can't pinpoint you on a timeline. Live day to day. Don't make plans for tomorrow or next week or next hour if you can. They have successfully programmed most of us to live on these repetitive loop cycle lives structured and governed by time and routine doing the same predictable thing every day like programmed robots. They use algorithms to predict and then program our behavior. And I'll just repeat this one. They've managed to create this positive alien propaganda that has lots of people focusing on love and light all the time. I think this is a type of hypnosis to distract you from seeking the truth because the truth is dark. No one is coming to help us. There isn't going to be a Messiah. There isn't going to be an alien race coming to help us. One of the best things to do during the spiritual war is arm yourself with as much information as possible and use your analytical mind to sort through it all and down to the truth. And try and connect with your ancestors. Ask them to protect you and they will have your back. They are your spirit guides. No other spirit or entity that claims to be your spirit guide has the right to do that because they are not from your bloodline. Your bloodline doesn't end when you die. It continues on to the afterlife. If you can manage to avoid the reincarnation, soul trap and memory wipe. Please leave your comments. I'm happy to debate this with people or come up with new theories to add on to my theory. There isn't one final uh, overarching theory. We all have parts to contribute parts of truth. 